In my case, a foreigner under reporting restrictions of the UKBA, also known as Notice IS-96, I did not come under their umbrella of ex-sectioned and ex-incarcerated people, and had no legal obligation to consort with Pembroke. I also consider it a sexual offense The Pembroke men would hang out outside the front door. It was their goal to force me to have woman-to-woman -woman intimacy with their sexually gifted female colleagues when I was living with a male partner. People may disagree with me. People believe modern science has asked women relate their genitalia to the genitalia of men, while all other forms of mental intimacy must be experienced woman-to-woman, -woman, as a relationship between a service seeker and an agency. There are thousands of agencies in the UK revolving around women, corresponding to various day-to-day -day activities. General practitioners did not ask me to consort with the Pembroke, to have intimacy woman treatments from women of the Pembroke. It was people, not doctors. In my own words, the general practitioners in the UK had little or no part in my psychiatric persecutions. From 2010 to 2011, when Pembroke was overactive in stalking me, doctors played no part at all. The antics of the Pembroke could not be curtailed by complaining to the police, because their scary attacks were orchestrated by the police. A subject access request by me to UKBA in early 2011 had UKBA disclosing they had indeed organized my 914. Perhaps the UKBA also organized the reign of terror by Pembroke nonstop by the front door once my boyfriend would go to work. I thought it was the job of general practitioners to protect me from Pembroke's door bangings and copious letters to me. That was because the Pembroke were abusing me under the health concept, which general practitioners had the authority to examine and invalidate if they thought fit. I interpreted the silence of doctors as proof of their consent to Pembroke's misbehavior, and felt bad as I believed doctors wanted me locked up without justification. It was only the UKBA who wanted me locked up. But after my little 914, Chapter 5, which was organized by the UKBA, I realized I could not be sectioned because doctors were not cooperating with UKBA's wishes. I do believe my father, Sr. Mr. K.V. told UKBA and the Pembroke I was crazy since my birth, to get revenge on me for not contacting my parents often enough.